Hello and welcome back to another Smoke Signal Synopsis. In this video, we will preview what stories can be found in the August 1st, 2024 edition of the Smoke Signals newspaper. If you'd like to read any of these stories now, you can find them in the PDF at smokesignals.org. On the front page of the paper, we have a photo and story from the 2024 Veterans Pow Wow. That story is continued on page 13 and through 16 with more photos plus a video on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Also on the front page, we share tribal elder Edward or Eddie Larson walked on on Thursday, July 16th at the age of 81. You can read more about him on page 3. The last story on the front page previews the Grand Ronde Contest Powwow is set for August 16th through the 18th. You can read details of that event on page 9. Over on page 5, we report a Grand Ronde tribal member raised more than $37,000 to expand his small business back to the basket, which specializes in 1990s and 2000s basketball memorabilia. During the Wednesday, July 24th meeting, Tribal Council approved the removal of a home deemed uninhabitable and approved removal of any other homes that don't meet livable standards in its Grand Ronde Meadows manufactured home subdivision. You can read more about that story on page 5. A page over, the tribe held the first fish ceremony on Thursday, July 8th. A photo and more of that story on page 6, plus a video on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. On page 7, you can read the questions and answers from the Candidates Forum held on Thursday, July 25th. We also have a podcast interview with all those candidates coming out August 7th. Another page over, Tribal Council member Kathleen George co-hosted a virtual press conference on Thursday, July 11th regarding the United States Army Corps of Engineers not meeting a congressionally mandated deadline. You can read more about that story on page 8. And the last story we'll preview in this video is on the Northwest or West Coast Indigenous Fashion Show held at Spearmount Casino's Event Center on Thursday, July 25th. You can find more photos and read more on page 10. We have more photos and brief stories throughout the paper for you to check out. You can find them all now in the PDF available at smokesignals.org. I'm Kamaya, the social media digital journalist for Smoke Signals.